Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to the latest episode of the Lancaster Leak. This one's called Entity Exam. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. You control the found footage! <laughs> Another tape has been leaked. This time, a recording of a training protocol. By answering questions and resisting jump scares, can you beat the Entity Exam? Sure. I'll give it a shot. Uh, yeah. So... This one, we're not actually controlling footage, but we're, like, playing a training tape, I guess? No, uh -huh. Let's check it out. Boop. You're getting the feeling that you aren't taking us seriously. Yeah, because we're still trying to get that FBI intern back. No acknowledgement of missing Valerie or the tapes we are leaking. This time we decided to reveal something a little bit closer to home. An old screen recording of one of your training protocols. If she isn't released, maybe the next leak will show how useless your training is. Does the agent body cam footage ring a bell? Damn. Entity Research Department. Erd. Login user. Uh, pickle. Password. Pickle. Oh, damn. Okay. So this is from 1991. Sick. All right. Uh, face detection. Throughout ERD research, there has been one constant. Uh-huh. Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. Because it can just, like, blend in with us? It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats, but fast. That wording. <laughs> ERP has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this module and being proficient in this skill. Damn. So even after taking this training, 26.2 agents out of 100 will die. Cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Okay. Begin. So I'm just clicking their faces? Her hands looking kind of funny. Oh, and was that... Can you even call that a face? Ugh, that. <laughs> Again, can you call some of these faces? Like some of those I was like, what? Oh shit. Ah. Fucker. You piece of shit. Damn, these are going fast now. 16 out of 19. Yeah, the last few went by really, really quickly. So, should I go through that again? And get 100%? Nah, fuck it. Situation training, let's do it.
this module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERD agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Okay. Understood. Lesson one, cert. Cert. Erd cert. Cert stands for calmly collect evidence, eliminate threats, run away, and terminate self. What? Given an interaction with an entity, these are the order of actions an agent will take during escalation. First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of ERD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Damn. Let us look at an example, where an agent didn't follow the principles of CERT. In 1989, Agent Redacted was collecting data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, Agent Redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, Redacted was subjected to Entity 59 s ref. Remember to search, remember to keep an extra round. Aftermath, Agent inspects missed shots. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? Not work here? <laughs> I would run away from this job? Oh, actual found footage. I'd also turn the lights on. <laughs> that was just a big happy girl. Lesson two, do's and don'ts, improvements we need in the ERD. Stronger guns? To interact with entities, if new data can be collected, don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. Okay. Do help co-workers gather data. Don't become friends with co-workers. Easy. I hate these fuckers. Do terminate co-workers who leak data. Don't hesitate. Explain later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lesson 3 Follow Mission Protocol. He's leaking! <laughs> I, I swear he's leaking! Deviation from mission protocol endangers yourself, co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden, unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Damn. Reminder, the punishment for deviation is termination. I'm guessing that doesn't mean they're gonna fire me. I'm assuming that means... In 1990, like... Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. Damn. So you're supposed this to let it- include the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions- So you're supposed to let it kill his wife? A you multiple just... question quiz about God these damn. topics will now commence. Okay, let's do it. Begin. An idea has killed your partner, but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? Collect evidence, eliminate threat, run away, terminate self. <laughs> collect evidence. Correct. It's perfect time to collect more data. Damn. Uh, after mission, an entity unknowingly followed you home. You have tried to shoot the entity, but your efforts are futile. You are cornered in your room. What should you do? Terminate self. Yeah! Have enough self-respect to give yourself a painless death. God damn. You're carrying newly discovered data about an entity. You hear your partner upstairs cry for help. You know you could probably neutralize the threat attacking your partner. What should you do? Run away. Yep. Do not risk losing collected data. 
Uh, you have a do no interfere order. I guess it's supposed to be do not interfere order. On a mission studying an entity. The entity is killing civilians, one of which is your friend. You have been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the entity. What should you do? Record your friend's death for data? Oh. Follow mission protocol. I'm a star employee. You overhear your supervisor talking about a plan to leak data from ERD. You're worried that you will be in trouble for uh, for solving the issue. What should you do? Do nothing. They probably know some. They probably know something you don't. Terminate your boss. Record the conversation or report your boss. Ask your boss to explain. Uh, terminate. Yeah. Don't hesitate. Every second you don't terminate is another second data could be leaked. Shit. If I have to terminate my own boss, I better be getting a fat raise. Alright, uh, doppelganger detection. Let's do it. I better be getting, like, a promotion. Due to its emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection was created. Mm hmm Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. I guess says doppelganger instead of doppelganger. Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features. For example, he has loose ears. always yeah. have loose skin. However, identification is covered in a difference module. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Ganger. Okay, I can do that. It's so cold in here, my nipples could cut the glass. Fuck. Okay, let's do it. Let's find the doppelganger. You! Loose skin. So probably you? Oh. Now I'm like, wait, which one was it? You. You. You're missing teeth. You. You look lumpy. This is some good looking eyeballs. That's a creepy mouth. <laughs> she just was going. Oof. Some of these people are just ugly. Uh. That was a wild guess. Okay, you have black eyes. Uh, you? What? She had black eyes. Or did I not click fast enough? That was just a mime. This kind of reminds me of like the silk bulb test. Another game that I played. Image recognition. Got it. Jesus, why? His training module is to practice quick reaction skills on determining if something is a friend. Okay. Or a foe. <laughs> okay. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Got it. I can do that. I wonder how much we get paid for doing this. Begin. Like, what do you think the yearly salary is? No threat. That's adorable. He's my best friend. That one on the left looks like a party. No threat there. No threat? Yeah, I didn't see anything. Uh, 
That's a threat. There's something up in that window. You look fine. Threat to my allergies, maybe. Hey, buddy. Yeah, no threat. Maybe walk in some human poop these days. That's a lot of teeth. Yeah, didn't see anything there. Yeah, no threat. <laughs> what, what are you? Some of these are very funny. It looks like salad fingers at the end. That's a lot of no threats in a row. Oh, there we go. I think that one just had boobies out. That's, yeah. Chuck E. Cheese. Charles Entertainment Cheese. Here. Oh, come on. They're, they're not showing me the thing until like the last possible second. I have to make like snap judgments. <laughs> oh, okay, come on, that was a haunted doll for sure. Okay, not bad. The background music on that one was intense. That was a threat in itself. Okay, uh. Audio transcription? Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from unusual sources. Besides being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one priority. Yes. In the two previous games, I haven't heard them say anything. Type me. into the console while you hear, and press enter when complete. Okay. Begin. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. Do not look behind you. I... I almost looked behind me. You are weak and replaceable. Repla re replaceable? I can't spell for shit. Clap, 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 cloudy. With a chance of rain. Clap, 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 cloudy. With a chance of rain. Okay. Everything is fine. 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 Everything is fine, fine, fine. I don't see, 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 see the sun often. What? I don't see, 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 see the sun often. Get out of my ass. What? 
you might help Robert should have kill himself. Something, 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 kill himself. I have no idea what that one said. That's not what she says, but yeah, I, I, I'm having a hard time hearing those two. Why won't you play with me? Don't you forget about me. I desire you. Aw. Thank you. I've been trying to lose weight. Please come back. Please come back. I am so cold. So me too. God, I need to wear thicker shirts because my I feel like you guys can just yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Is that you? That's totally what he said. Well, I guess I got it right. Well, I, I didn't get it right, but I passed. Yeah, some of those I was like, huh? Entity 101. Let's do it. Entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years. For once was a rare sighting, entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time. Huh. This led to the founding of the Entity Research Department. Why are we seeing them more often? The RD goal is researching entities to protect the public but more importantly, finding utility in entities and where they come from. The leading theory of where they come from is backdoors, yet no physical evidence has been found yet. That s where you come in. As an agent of ERD, you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities ERD are focusing on in 1992. In the last game, it said that the entity was good at using backdoors to are find given its an prey, ID but are often given a nickname. Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Entities are classified in three ways, threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. Okay. Entity, E549. Nickname, Shadow People. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Extreme. Utility, Significant. Shadow people, or night terrors, torment their prey during nights when there is low visibility, often in bedrooms, when the prey is sleeping. 
paralyzing their prey during sleep, shadow people will ominously watch from a distance. It isn't known why shadow people choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subject for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To the civilian world it seems the subject died in their sleep. The research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. Entity, E718. Nickname, Matronic. Cute. Class, Machine. Threat, Low. Containment, Easy. Utility, Moderate. Matronics take the form of animatronics, playful figures that appeal to children. Matronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It isn't known where Matronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Matronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. The past five years, agents of ERD children have been targeted by Matronics and Damn. have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Matronsis are targeting agent children and how to redirect their targeting. Damn, so 100 and something kids of the Entity agents have been taken? Nickname, Skinwalker. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Severe. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Significant. Skinwalkers are ancient Shapa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. The research goal this year is finding a systematic way to identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of body. Okay. Ew. Well. Entity, E-59. <laughs> Nickname, the, the rake. rake. Class, no. Threat, moderate. Containment, moderate. Utility, low. After the elimination of the Wendigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid in shape, the rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a white pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible to gunfire, yet are incredibly agile and thus hard to shoot. The research goal this year is finding out the cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Wendigo eradication. Is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? So we... So they wiped out all the Wendigo, and now the rake has a taken its place? Will now begin. Okay, let's do it. Begin. Uh, rake. Oh, that, that's a Matronic. I would love to hang out with them. They're not gonna kill me, then we'll just hang. Uh, shadow people. Civilian? Oh. Oh. Rake? So was, was that a doppelganger before? Uh... Follow it to find the origin. What gives this skinwalker, uh, what gives it away as a skinwalker? Probably the loose skin. Upwards figure? Yeah. How do people kill their prey after how long? Years. Rake has approached you during a mission. All you have is a service pistol. Are you able to, um, no, terminate self. Oh. <laughs> I thought it would just not work. Uh, a child after watching this training module, you have learned your child as a risk of abduction. What should you do? Nothing? That's fucked. That's fucked. I thought for sure it was going to have me terminate myself during the rake one. Okay. Comprehensive exam. Spooky, spooky music. The final exam will now begin. A mixture of content from previous modules. Uh huh. 
begin. Okay, so this one's the click the face one. Uh, you. They just had a lazy eye. Did you check the latch? Uh, NT is threatening your appearance. What? Collect evidence? Yeah. No threat. Yeah, the one on the right. Right? So far, so good. You've encountered a Matronic during a mission. Are you in danger? No. Collect data. Because I'm an adult. This guy. I will terminate myself. Uh, threat? That was a Mickey Mouse matronic. This one? She looks sad. Just bad lighting. Uh, shadow people! Your co work who you consider a good friend, seems to be infected by something. You want to save him. Okay, but put him down. Uh, keep collecting data. Oh. Are you serious? Hello. You have small features. What? No threat. That's a threat. They were lanky and pale. Group of entities have kidnapped children. You mission protocol is only to observe from distance what you should do. Uh, observe. As I follow orders. Uh, rake. Shadow people? <laughs> Some of these people are just bad at taking pictures of themselves. Hey! This HR module is complete. Return to your supervisor for next instructions. Got it. That's, that's me. You probably can't use stop watching before they find you. Oh, it, it fucked my webcam up. Hold on. It it tried to use my webcam. Or tried to use my camera. So it fucked up on OBS. So join the Discord? Yeah. So that was Entity Exam. That was good. Some of the the Lancaster League TBA. So they're working on another one. Yeah, some of the audio ones, I had no idea what they were saying. Like, just could not comprehend. And then some of the, like, should you terminate yourself ones, I was like, yes, instantly terminate myself if I'm, if I'm in that situation. But that turned out to be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this series a lot. Uh, it... This one reminded me a little bit of like the Silk Bulb test. Um, there's a few other games like this that I played that it reminds me of, but I like this one a lot. This one had a lot of just different, I guess, like features going for it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. This one came out in February of this year. So wait, did it come out in this year? Yeah, February 6th this year. So, probably it's going to be a while before the next one comes out. So in the meantime, we'll be playing something else in between episodes of Pacific Drive. Which I think there's only a few episodes left of that for me to do. 
So yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. It really helps. Uh, check out my Patreon. Me and my hubby are going to be playing through the Dark Pictures Anthology together. Um, and also just helps the channel. Uh, yeah. You get access to my Discord server and ad, not ad for viewing, that's Twitch. Access to my Discord server and exclusive content over on my Patreon. And you get your name in my credits. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time.